Hi guys! So today I really wanted to do my Beauty on a Budget video for July. Um, I cannot for the life of me remember if I put one up in June. I think I did or at the very end of May. Um, but I wanted to get one up for July. Anyways, I'm using just two, well three eyeshadows. Um, but the main ones are from the Wet n Wild Blue Had Me at Hello palette. The uh, 8 pan color icon palette. The matte black and the royal blue on this side. Um, I had this look up in my brain since I'm at um, and I really 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 wanted to get it out to you guys um, and make it happen and I was just trying to think of the colors that I had that I could do and when I realized I had the colors in affordable shades I figured it would be a perfect beauty on a budget video especially for those of you that really like dark dramatic things to wear um, I would totally rock this for a night out for sure um, it's to me, it's just, it's perfect for me um, for that. So, uh, and I used an eye candy glitter and just a pigment. This is one of my new glitters, uh, and I, oh my god, I love it so much. Um, so, it incorporated perfectly. So, if you want to learn how to do this beauty on a budget video, and if you're interested in my bun, this is just a sock bun. Um, just type in sock bun tutorial on YouTube, and you'll find tons of videos on how to do that. It's really easy and um, yeah so if you want to learn how to do this beauty on a budget video and how to achieve this look then keep watching I'll see you guys in my next video love you bye okay so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is take a primer and prime your eyes I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay primer potion I don't have a drugstore primer so um, anyone will do Now, as you can see, I don't have any foundation on because we're working with really, really dark colors. I'm going to do the foundation after the eyeshadow, so any fallout. I don't think that the translucent powder is enough when working with shades this dark, so I just like to wait until after it's done. Uh, but anyways, next I need a dark black base, so I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. And I'm just going to run that along my low, or my, um lower lid close to my lash line okay and then with a synthetic brush because synthetic works best with this um, I'm going to be using one of the new Royal Linical from the Revolution lines the BX80 it's just a fluffy synthetic brush and I'm just going to blend out that dark black base Alrighty, and as you can see, I did go above the crease because we're going to be working right above the crease with our dark shades. Now, this is the Wet n Wild um, Blue Had Me at Hello palette. It has beautiful shades. The only shade that really sucks in this is the Brow Bone shade, at least in my palette, on this side with the blacks. Uh, but we're not even going to be using that, so that's okay. So we're just going to take this shade at the very bottom on the shade where the gray is the gray is and it's the matte black and we're going to take that and pack it on really tight on a natural hair brush this is just my elf eyeshadow brush this brush is a dollar on eyeslipsface.com and this is a really pigmented matte black so you're just going to pick that up and pat it onto your lid And you're just going to bring it up ever so slightly above the crease. All right. Now with a really large fluffy blending brush, this is my Sigma E40. We're going to blend it right out. Just lots of blending. Alright, next we're going to take on the opposite side where the turquoise is, we're going to take this royal blue shade. Um, this is similar to fresh water and it's, it just says crease on it and it's just a really nice royal blue, really pigmented. And we need an angled fluffy brush. This one is also by the new Revolution line by Royal and Lane Nickel. It's the BX85. And just pick that up 
and just work that on the outer part of the eye. Alright, and then with that fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to blend again. All right, so now that that's blended in, I'm going to work on highlighting a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and just go right underneath that brow area and then right here into the inner corner of my eye. And then just with the warmth of my ring finger, I'm going to blend that. And then I'm going to be taking a Lash Report pigment. This one is in Spun Sugar. It's a duochrome um, white with a pink or purpley duochrome to it. And with my Sigma E70 angled brush, I'm going to pick up that powder. Just loose. I'm not going to wet it. I'm just going to put that under the brow. And then into my inner corner there. And then again, we're going to blend. Alrighty, so now the fun part is um, before we do the foundation and stuff, I want to get um, the loose glitter out of the way because we're going to be working with um, it in a liquid form and then in a loose form. So this is by Eye Candy which Eye Candy and Lit are my favorite glitter companies. You guys know that. They make the most beautiful array of glitters. Um, and this one is in Spearmint. And it's a finely milled glitter. And it is just basically like a peacock color, blue and green. Um, it's similar to the one that I picked up when I was in L.A. by Lit. But this one has a little bit more um, of the blue in it. So that's what I wanted. And I'm just picking up... Um, a pointed art brush and the liquid base I put a little bit this is their liquid sugar base so I just have it in the cap and I'm just going to dip that into the glitter and as you can see it uh, you can use it like this with your foundation on it won't fall out but we're also like I said going to be using it loose and it will fall onto your face so I'm just going to put that into the inner corner and condense it there Okay, and then with my finger, I'm going to kind of fade it out. I kind of want this effect where the glitter starts thick and then kind of fades out to thinner. You know what I'm saying? Like kind of like a glittery ombre effect. So which is why we're going to use it loose as well because when you use it wet like this, it puts it on quite thick. And then I'm just going to use a um, regular brush for this. Oh, am I? Where is it? Right here. Okay. Just a little brush like this. Going to dip it in, tap it off, and just start to put it all over the eye. And this is what I mean why it gets all over your face. Because you are putting it all over your eye. Alrighty, so at this point, what we're going to do is uh, remove the glitter from the face with a washcloth, put on your foundation and your powder. I decided to do no bronzer with this look, um, so I'll come back to show you how I'm going to do the contour of my face. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go apply my foundation and I'll be back. Okay, so now the foundation on, we're going to finish the eyes. Um, I'm going to start off by using that black jumbo bean milk pencil again and then take a like liner brush to get it on there and then line your bottom lash line with it really lightly about three quarters of the way in and 
And then also line your lash line, like your bottom lash line with this and your tight line with it as well. All right, and then blend it out with a blending brush. And then on the outer corner, we're gonna use the blue. So. Just halfway in. And then on the inner part, we're gonna use the black. All right, and then on top of the black, I'm going to put on um, the glitter again. So with, I'm gonna do it with the base, I'm not gonna do it loose. So again, dip it into the base and then dip it into the glitter. Paint it onto your, the black part. Alrighty, um, while that dries, I'm just going to put on my lashes. Now, I've been waiting for a reason to wear these lashes, and these are the 102s by Nigel Emporium. I picked these up at IMATS Toronto last year, and I'm really excited to finally use them. Uh, so I'm going to put those on, and then I'll be back to finish off the rest of the look. So that is the eyes completed. Nice and dark and gothic and just something that I had in my brain and I wanted to put on my face um, yeah so we will continue on with the face um, I decided no bronzer I really wanted to do like a light light contour so this is my Fox in a Box by Hard Candy which is like the exact same colors as the Sugar Bomb by Benefit but not not as long staying power like this I would definitely if I'm gonna choose go with Sugar Bomb because this one I find isn't um, and it has a lot a lot of fallout but it's still pretty color so we're gonna use this and this is in Smooth Talker and I'm just gonna be using a contour brush this is my Royal Lane Nickel C120 contour brush I'm just gonna swirl in all the colors and as you can see all the fallout and I'm just going to focus that in the hollows of my cheeks and up into my temple. Right, after we have that on, I want it to be like nice and strong. Uh, I'm going to be using this Victoria's Secret highlighter in All or Nothing. And I'm just going to put that right on my cheek and then up. This is a good alternative to use as a highlight on your eye and um, on your brow bone too. I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose too. Cupid's bow. And there we go. On my lips, I wanted to keep it really natural because I wanted my eyes to be like boom the vocal point right so um, this is just summer love by NYX and it is completely disgustingly melted um, I need to order another one like oh my god it looks so gross but it's like my favorite one of my favorite um, lipsticks ever so there we go so that is the completed look I hope that you guys enjoyed this really dark, dramatic, beauty on a budget video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like my little sock bun, I don't know if you can see it very well because it's so high. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below, if you have any requests, anything like that. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. I love you so much. Bye.